Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 21st episode of Sword Art Online Alicization. Last episode, we found our little, you know, douchebag bunchkin. We tried to kill him, we chased him around, and eventually led us to Yu Gi Oh!, who's been brainwashed by the administrator and got a sword back because we're, we were kind enough to give the sword back to our current enemy, which he appreciated greatly. <clears throat> and now we're about to face off against Yu-Gi-Oh! Kirito versus Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the fight of the century, really, so let's get into it and see how this uh, Clash of Titans goes. 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, Kirito, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's have a clean, clean match here. Love the belts. Well, Kirito, you weren't there, man. It was a pretty good deal. You know, plans change, you know? Well, Alice wasn't very nice to me when we met again, so maybe, maybe I changed my mind on that. Boom! <laughs> and again, boom! Yeah, those really don't look like Yu Gi Oh eyes. Those look like brainwashed eyes. Oof. Well, we got to see a little bit of the fight before the opening played. Not allowed the wind blowing indoors. I never really paid attention before, but what is that thing they're fighting in there? That looks very dangerous. Actually, is this a new opening? Because I really don't remember certain parts of this. Like, you know, that whole thing there. Either I just have not been paying attention the slightest, which is a possibility, or they changed the opening a little bit. I mean, either one could be possible. But I swear there were some new parts in there. Well, probably after this whole thing is over, I'll check the previous opening. I think that's something a lot of people have wondered, specifically on the internet. <laughs> oh, new skills. He dropped his sword, he did drop his sword. Well, he dropped it upward, if it works that way. Oh. He's got his own tricks up his sleeve. Watch out, Kitty Toe. He's gonna blow you up. Damn. Yeah, there's some wind for you. Alice, are you gonna just watch the whole time, or...? You could probably talk to him, get through to him, maybe. But... I saw that butt. Well, I mean... Oh, he's no novice. He's pretty good. I mean, you lack depth perception, so I don't, I don't feel comfortable with you fighting, but maybe you could say something to get to him. You were the whole point for this quest, so maybe you could help in that regard. Maybe give him a hug. Show him that you're not mean anymore. Anyway, let's, let's continue. Oof. <laughs> nice block, Kirito. 
Oh! Ah, it's damage on both sides. Ooh, okay, that, that hurt, that hurt. I thought I was gonna headbutt him. What? Uh, oof. Storm wave. Okay, it did seem kind of familiar. Yeah, who cares? I'm just here to fight. Do I need to remind you, Yuji, of bros before hoes? This is this is the ancient wisdom here. Yeah, she inserted into him, and now we got to find a way to to deal with that. Words are never enough. Okay, I mean, it's worth a try. Let's see what you got, you Kirito. And, well, like me. Well, her too. Silica liked you. Yeah. I kind of miss some of those characters. Hey, Alice is right over there, UGO. Right over there. That cute blonde girl, right over there. Oh, we might be actually getting through to him. Just pull it out of his forehead. Are you gonna bite him? Or say something? Oh, memories of that that big tree. <laughs> wow, these are childhood memories of the Kirito too. It's a big deal. Things have escalated a bit since then, though. We have real swords now, not sticks. Fighting to the death. Okay, was that was that a good thing? <laughs> That boy does look painful. I need to get a band aid. Come on, say something, Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, that's promising. Just don't let your guard down too much, Kirito. You don't don't do this, Kirito. You really need to keep your guard up. You don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, he's attacking Alice. Okay, that's not cool. That's cold. But yeah, this is why you keep your guard up, Kirito. Why would you give your friend the cold shoulder like that? Now we gotta figure out a way to break the ice. Alice, do you have any ideas? <laughs> the tear. The symbolic tear, you know. When his friend puts on my ice and then walks away. You're still alive. Why? I mean... He froze their assets, but that's about it. No. <laughs> Technicality. I stopped them. I stopped them cold. I'm not gonna do that. I will call you scum and you'll like it. Just stab him, Yu-Gi-Oh. Just go anywhere that's not here.
Seriously, just somebody kill that thing with fire. Prefer to before it lays eggs. But uh yeah, back to our <laughs> back to our happy place here. I did good, do I get a reward? <laughs> Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> what everyone wants to hear. <sighs> but what if I want some of that love too? Does, does, does my opinion not matter? If only Kirito had somebody to just wipe away his injuries. I'd rather have a good look at your face, to be honest. What was that about a convenient hole? I didn't read the rest of that sentence. Of course it's always after. It's with you people. Oh, she's already pulling out. Yeah, we can't have any of those uh, those memories coming back. You know, any of the real ones. Oh, there's Kirito. I think. I I think. Yeah. Pulling it out more, and it's out. An improved module, okay. Meaning? The reward time now? <laughs> uh, okay. You do, you do that. Yeah, we don't need protection. <laughs> just man, the phrasing was just move. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, she still blocked it, but that was impressive. Surprise penetration he was going for there didn't quite work, but he's still trying for it. He's getting through. He's maybe getting through. No, he's not getting through. Uh, her protection was too strong. <laughs> or his weapon was too short, one of the two. But he tried. Well. I wish he'd get a bit of a bit, bit of a haircut. Making it very hard to pay attention to the lyrics, you know that. Just just so you know that. <laughs> Some lovely skin, so that's maybe for the best. Yeah, I don't see what's wrong with that that deal. If he doesn't want to take the deal, is it open for like anyone that wants it? Just just asking for a friend. Oof. Use the sword at your waist to shatter. Love is war, actually. A different anime taught me that. Oh. I mean, if you start for love, I'll give all of it, all of it to her. Suppose. Okay.
<laughs> Come on, blow the hair a bit more. A bit more. Yeah, Alice, obviously. <laughs> That sounds absolutely horrible. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine. You're not making friends with, with Yuji right now, though. <laughs> okay, I don't think Yuji can do much here, but... <laughs> gotta try. <laughs> Come on, you have a much bigger weapon this time. You should be able to shatter her defenses. Maybe. Probably not. Maybe. Uh, oh, wow. I think we actually got through. Well, until she blew him, of course. But, ah, and blood. Well, we got close. Yeah, I got a dual wield. <laughs> Break the defense with the sword and then stab with the little one. Ooh. And she's not going to heal these wounds. He's impressed by his sword, I take it? You go away. You don't get to see Administrator in her glory, glorious form. You're not worthy. <laughs> but they're out, okay. A quick break it. Break his foot, his leg, the rest of him. But yeah, since he revealed himself to be on uh, on our side the whole time, it makes sense that he, uh, you know, wouldn't completely disable them. That'd be possible for them to come. <laughs> Put that down, it's dirty. <laughs> Why are you happily holding that disgusting shoe? Dorito, stop. Okay, so he was... He was in it before, but it just recently came out of it. Okay. I wasn't sure, but... That kind of clears that up. But yeah, Kirito, seriously, if I had just walked into this room, Yuji would not be the first thing I was looking at, I'd tell you that right now. In fact, I probably wouldn't even notice Yuji was in the room. But, uh, you know, Kirito is Kirito. Yeah, now you notice the beautiful naked room, world, woman across the room. I think Yurito may have failed some sort of gay test there. I mean, there's, there's plenty I want to say to you. I would not back up from that woman like that. I would not. I would be walking towards her. But I get, but I don't have Alice's experiences with her, so. Our glorious order. <laughs> the smugness. Can somebody use a sword like on her hair specifically? On certain parts of her hair? That's all I want, really. You shut up. Did we just stab him already? But she did. You can see the, uh, the eye. Yeah, that's what I assumed. 
<coughs> well, I was going to say, don't you dare touch Alice, but I think I have mixed feelings on that subject. <laughs> Uh. Uh. Wow, really? <laughs> no, you are nowhere near worthy. Like, not even, not even close. Just move the hair a little bit. That's all I want. Just a little bit. Oh, jeez. I'd rather that not happen. Ugh. Uh. Please don't stick that in my face. Okay, I just... Uh... Can we move the camera over back to Pontifex? Don't. I really don't want to see it. I don't want to see your genie come out. I really don't. Just keep your genie in there. Uh. Because I know a genie will be pretty active after that con conversation with the Pontifex. Well, there you go. I seriously want that chud Chuddlekin thing to die already. You don't even know how badly. Especially when he dares to want to put his grubby little hands on our goddess over there. It's, it's not okay. Oh uh, yeah, a lot to take in with this episode, I would say. Whew. You know, there really wasn't much point in her taking her clothes off, but at this point it's become pretty obvious that she just kind of prefers to be that way. Which I am more than okay with. I just wish she would either adjust her hair a bit or cut parts of it off. It's just so unfair. She had the power of swelling and hair flying up in the air, but not the important bits of hair. It was so frustrating. Okay, I thought that said Titan Kyojin because, you know, Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin. But, uh, yeah. And of course, the first one I already knew. But, yeah, the, uh, that was the 21st episode of Sword of Online Alicization. And man, where do I even start with this? Well, we saw our fight between Kirito and Yujo, which was really cool, you know. It was about as good as I expected it to be, you know. We got some bloodshed on both sides. Yujo got his healed later, but Kirito, I don't think he was able to have it healed quite as easily as Yujio because he doesn't have, you know, a sugar mama to, to deal with all of his problems, you know, to baby him. But yeah, a pretty cool fight for the most part. Not a lot to really say on the fight itself, I don't think. However, it did seem like you were getting some memories to pop up into Yujio there, you know, which is good. 
It didn't seem like it did too much though because he just like healed him up in ice and then left. But the fact that he didn't kill him is pretty telling. So I wasn't sure whether or not we were going for a sort of I was never truly brainwashed sort of thing, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z with the M on Vegeta's forehead, you know, where he just kind of pretend to go along with it. Wasn't sure if they were doing that or if it was a matter of that he, he suddenly got some memory flashes in his head and was like, OK, no, this is not this is not OK. And that just kind of brought him onto a path of eventually just like kind of shattering the control and moving finally completely to his own will and then attacking back. I think that may be more of what they were going for there. But just I wasn't sure for, for a while, so I was kind of bouncing back and forth on my theory on that in my head a lot. But yeah, just it, it is like I said, it is telling that he froze Kirito instead of actually killing him. I mean, it could partly just because they were roughly evenly matched, and that's just an easier way to just deal with it. Like, okay, they're stopped. It's just, it's it's done. It's it's dealt with. Okay, I'm leaving now. <clears throat> I do think Alice probably should have made a bit more of an effort to get through to UGO because. Like I said, Alice is the reason why they went there, so she could probably say the right thing to get a bit of a, a reaction out of him. You know, like, hey, Yuji, long time no see, my bestest friend. It's, it's good to see you. Do you want a hug? You know, it'd, it'd be great. But no, nah, we didn't really get much of that. But she did talk about how the module in him is, I think, a new one, a new model, I think she said. Which would explain some things that, some of the confusion of Alice, I, I guess. But, uh... <laughs> But yeah, we had another conversation between between our Pontifex there and Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, some debate about love and what is love, really? I've seen so many anime that ask that question in some capacity of what is love, whether it be Violet Evergarden or, you know, a bunch of anime that I can't think of at the top of my head. But I know it's a topic that's been brought up in a lot of anime. Like, what is love and, you know, all that. But uh, yeah, UGO decided that love is not something you can just give out as like a reward or whatever. It's that's just not how it works. So some philosophical differences in regards to love there, and he broke free with the stabber right in the chest with his little dagger. Did not quite work, but uh, did his best to rebel and wouldn't wasn't going super well. Yeah, I mean he managed to break through a defense a little bit with a sword, but then was just blown back, you know, against the wall. But then you Kirito and Alice finally showed up, and unfortunately so did. That Chunkin thing. But, uh, yeah, now that the gang's all here, we should have a better chance. However, we still have to deal with this guy, you know. And he made some sort of arrangement with our Pontifex about being, being able to do loot things with her. But, uh, I don't think it will get to that point. I think we'll successfully defeat him and destroy him and take him down before it actually gets to that point. At least I hope I do. I don't hope, hope, it, hope it does. I really don't want to see that happen. Just, yeah, I don't even want to imagine that in my head. Just, duh. You keep you and your little genie away from. Away from the Pontifex. That's, that's what's, yeah. You're lucky you're still alive at this point, honestly. You should have died a while ago. But man, just, it is just quite a, quite a visual treat there to see the Pontifex just standing like that with her, you know, her smug face just butt naked standing there looking at them like she's just so above them, you know. It's, it's good. It's good. But yeah, and the occasional bits where she actually touches herself. Just she's she's quite the character for sure. For sure. I just don't know why Chun Wada Wada has to be in a scene to ruin it. Just fortunate. And yeah, some of the leg fidgeting and <laughs> there's, there's some good bits in this episode, to be honest. But yeah, it's good to see that he has got away from, out of her control, you know, I make more jokes than I probably should about that whole thing, but I do want him to break free and be able to finish the job he's here for and all that. I don't want him to completely be sucked up by her and made to betray his friends and stuff. You know, I do want him to get together with Kirito and succeed in their original mission, rescuing Alice, taking all this corrupt stuff down, and being able to move forward in a positive direction. You know, I do want all that to happen. I just like to make jokes about this sort of thing because it's it's really easy to do so, and I have fun doing it. I kind of wish it showed us showing them actually breaking out of the ice. I kind of would have liked to have seen that, but I um, guess guess not. I guess it doesn't matter that much though. 
But uh, yeah, good episode, and I look forward to seeing them murder Chun Kindle next episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.